let's redraw this scroll in front of us. Since our dimensions are in millimeters, we're gonna come here, we're gonna say new metric standard millimeters, then we're gonna say create. So here we're gonna go on sketch, and then we are going to start with our rectangle. So there we go. This one here will be 50 millimeters, so five zero. Enter. Okay. Then I'm going to have this axis of mine. There we go. Now I need to make sure that this one here from there to there is uh, 0.2 millimeters. Yeah. Then after that, I'll come here draw this other rectangle of mine with come closer so come here draw this other rectangle of mine up to there i need to make sure that this one here is 0.3 millimeters yeah so you have in your own design but this is a that line that i'm i'm laying down for you good now that i have that the next thing that i'm gonna do is i'm going to draw this other rectangle here so from the up to the and i'll make sure that this one here is a point one point so 1.4 millimeters good then i'll come here again i'm going to draw my third rectangle i'll say coming up to the yeah then i'll draw this line here okay so i can give the mention of this one I can say from there up to there that one need to be 0.35 yeah that is good now that I have this in place what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to come here and uh, draw this other rectangle so I can go like this let's say up to there after this fine and then i'll draw it there i'll come here okay okay and then i can draw it like this doesn't matter okay but i need to make sure that the angle there is uh, two zero is that okay all right so we just seen that this one has moved we don't have time to do another one what we can do is we can make sure that from there to there we have zero that is good now we have our axis touching there okay mm, and from here to there we need to make sure that we have zero as well uh, let's avoid confusion when we can good so you're gonna come here so basically what i'm trying to do to make sure that this rectangle is touching touching all my boundaries that's it and that line here which is maxis i wanted to make sure that it's touching the first rectangle that i, that I made okay all right so i'm gonna come here and say revolve okay so i'm going to revolve come here I'm going to revolve this part against that axis okay you see the way it is I'll say okay okay after that I'll come here I say visibility uh, visibility on and then I'm gonna go on 3d model I'm gonna click on coil now I'll click on this one okay and then against the same axis then i'll say 
the other way around so it needs to go up to there Mika is that okay with me I say yes then I say okay now I have that coil over there I'll now come on revolve now I want to revolve thus let me uh, do it from here I want to revolve this whole uh, come on mm, that's fine can just do it even part by part still okay with me so I want to revolve this whole part here okay since the drawing is too small it's giving a little bit of complication I want to revolve that whole part there. so I'll say against that axis now you can see I say our uh, plus okay now I want to revolve this one as well against that same very axis okay not cutting but adding now I have it there all right okay now I can say plus again now I want this one here to be evolved against this axis but this time I want to cut okay now I'm having this here is the frame of your screw so you come and say visibility off okay now you come here on top okay you say new sketch here you're going to start with these two rectangles okay let's go that will be my first one okay and uh this will be my second one in my case, I'll make sure that this one here is six millimeters. And uh, this other one, okay, let's make it uh, uh, six is fine. This other one is also six millimeters. Okay. But I'll make sure that um, this one is 1.6 okay 1.6 basically from there to there i need to have half 1.6 which is 1.8 and thus to there will also be 1.6 so 1.6 okay good and now from here to there i want to have uh 2.2 good the same apply three okay 2.2 now you can see that my cross is centered okay all right good what i'm gonna do now next is i'm gonna go on 3d model i click on extrude now i want to extrude this part and that part okay i'll say by um, two millimeters okay let's see but i want it to go inside so i'll say the other way around now you can see it there okay i want to have a 20 is 20 okay so 20 no 30 is better 30 degree Taper, but minus 30 degrees minus right there check there so if it's plus it's coming out it's 30 it's 30 zero there it's coming out but uh, if i put minus in the front okay minus now i'm having it inside and then i say sorry i say okay now this is how your screw looks like okay so you have your point there and then you have this at oh now you need to cut this so you're gonna come here okay there now uh, we as well so there inside and so i think uh, no, no 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 i need this one too that one too i need to cut this one with 0.14 
Okay, now it's gonna be sharpened there. Let's see if we go now. Nah, point one four is pretty good. We can see that. Yeah. So now I'll say, okay. Good. Now you have a proper screw made. What you're gonna do next is to choose the material. So you come here. You go with uh, which one? Is carbon still okay for you? I think this is okay. Congratulations. You've made a beautiful object. It was a pleasure of mine sharing this video with you. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you're going to enjoy it. For now, I'm going to ask you to take care of yourself. Please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to like. See you on the next video. Bye. <music>